I'm going to be showing you three different methods to integrating sine cubed x. Let's get stuck in with method one. What we're going to do is using the fact that three is an odd number, we can strip out the sine x and we're going to be left with sine squared x. And the beauty of that is because sine squared x is sine x to an even power, I can replace it with something in terms of cos. So this is going to be sine x times sine squared x, which is the same as one minus cos squared x dx. Now you might ask, well, why do I want to do this? Well, sine x is the derivative of cos x. Well, apart from the negative sign in front, but that's fine. We can always just bring that to the front of the integral. So that motivates us to do a substitution here because this expression here, one minus cos squared x is a function of cos x. So we're going to say, let u equal cos x. And so therefore du is minus sine x dx. And therefore, if I rearrange this, dx is going to be minus du over sine x. Now, bringing this into the integral here, this is the integral of sine x times 1 minus cos squared x is just u squared times dx, which is minus du over sine x like so. And the beauty of this is those sine x is there cancel. And this minus I can bring in here. This is just the integral of u squared minus 1 du which is a very strand, a standard integral. Uh, this is going to be a third u cubed minus u. And then if we just sub in u is cos x, we get a third cos cubed x minus cos x. And of course, we cannot forget plus c. So that's method one. Let's see method two. So now this method involves us using the triple angle formula for sine x. Now, don't worry, this isn't one that you're supposed to kind of remember or expected to remember, but we can quickly derive this. Sine of 3x is the same as sine of 2x plus x, which is the same using our compound angle formula, sine 2x cos x plus sine x times cos 2x, Ooh, 2x like so. And now that's, that's that. Now how do we simplify this and write this in terms of sine x? Well, we can use our double angle formula for sine 2x. So that's going to be 2 sine x cos x times this cos x here makes that cos squared x. And then this thing here is plus sine x times cos 2x. But we want to write everything here in terms of sine x. So what double angle formula should I use for cos 2x? Well, I'm going to use the one which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So 1 minus 2 sine squared x, like so. OK, cool. Now, if I replace this cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x, this is 2 sine x. 1 minus sine squared x, uh, yeah, 1 minus sine squared x plus, and then this thing here, if I expand it, is sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. Now, if I just expand this term here and simplify, this will turn out to be 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x, like so. Great, so sine 3x is that. And so, therefore, if I rearrange this to give me sine cubed x, I get sine cubed x is the same thing as 3 sine x minus sine 3x all over 4. OK, great. Now, if I integrate both sides, then the integral of sine cubed x dx is equal to the integral of this. So if I take out the quarter, it's the integral of 3 sine x minus sine 3x dx, like so. And now this is pretty straightforward. I can just do a quarter, 3 sine x. What does that integrate to? Well, that's minus 3 cos x. Sine 3x, what does that integrate to? Or minus sine 3x, that's going to be positive cos, and it's going to be positive one third cos of 3x. And then I can shove a plus c at the end. So that is my second way to integrate sine 3x. The third method uses complex numbers. We're going to start with Euler's formula, which says that e to the ix is cos x plus i sine x for all real numbers x. And so if I substitute x for minus x, I get e to the minus i x is the same as cos of minus x plus i sine of minus x. But cos and sine, cos is an even function and sine is an odd function. So what I mean by that is cos, if I sketch the graph of it, looks something like this, and it's symmetric around the y-axis. So if I replace x for minus x, the y values are the same. So cos of minus x is actually just the same as cos of x. In a similar way, sine of minus x is actually minus sine of x, because we look at the graph of sine, it looks 
something like this. So if I plug in x, it's the same as plugging in the negative value or what you'd get, uh, the negative of what you get if you substitute in minus x. So this is going to be minus i sine x. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to add these two things up. So I get e to the i x plus e to the minus i x. The cos x is, oh, sorry, no, I'm not going to add them up, sorry. I'm going to subtract them from each other. Uh, so e to the i x minus e to the minus i x. The cos x is then cancel. And I'll get i sine x minus minus i sine x. That's 2i sine x. Ooh. And if I now divide by sine x, I get sine x is just e to the i x minus e to the minus i x all over 2i. Pause! I've decided to set up my own tutoring company to help you study maths at a top university. So if you like the way I explain things, go check it out. Let's get on with the video. Great. Now what I'm going to do is just cube both sides. So sine cubed x is simply e to the i x minus e to the minus i x cubed all over 2i cubed, which will be 8i cubed. Now we can just use the binomial expansion here to help us on the top. This is going to be e to the 3i x minus 3. So the next term will be 3 choose 1, so 3. Then I've got e to the i x squared times e to the minus i x. Um, and now the i x squared is going to be 2i x, but then I'm dividing this by e to the i x, so that's going to be e to the just i x then. Then I'm going to get plus 3 e to the minus i x, and then I'm going to get minus e to the minus 3 i x, all over 8 i cubed, but i cubed, well i squared is minus 1, so i cubed will just be minus i, so all over 8 i. And this is just sine cubed x, and so therefore uh, the integral of sine cubed x dx is going to be 1 over 8, minus 8 i, times, well, the integral of 3ix, what's that? Oh, e to the 3ix, sorry, that's just going to be 1 over 3i, e to the 3ix. What about this one here? That's just going to be minus 3 over i, e to the ix. How about this one here? That's going to be plus 3 over minus i, e to the minus ix. And this last one here is going to be minus 1 over minus 3i, e to the minus 3ix. And then, of course, plus a C, like so. Hopefully those methods have all made sense and you've maybe seen something new and some ways that you perhaps wouldn't solve this integral or evaluate this integral. So like this last method here, you probably wouldn't use for this particular integral, but I think it's pretty cool to include. Let me know what your favorite was. And in fact, if you could think of any other ways to integrate sine cubed x in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.